Hey y'all, it's Drew and we're back with another Film Breakdown video. Today we're going to go over Heisman hopeful Justin Fields. Throughout this week I'm going to go over my top three Heisman favorites, Justin Fields being my number three. With the playoff rankings coming out tonight on Tuesday, I think we're going to get a lot of things starting to roll in the college football playoff scheme and just all the awards in general. So let's get into Justin Fields and his stats. If you look at his career before the Indiana game that just happened this past weekend, he was throwing an insane completion percentage and touchdown to interception ratio. He was doing 158 passes before he got an interception. That was his rate and every 8.5 passes was a touchdown. And in 2020, he had 11 incompletions. 11 incompletions. He also had 11 touchdowns. That's insane. Zero interceptions. He's had three interceptions all career. Now, if you look at his game against Indiana, he threw three interceptions. So he threw his career interceptions in one game, coming to 10 passes per interception and 15 passes per touchdown. So he doubled his touchdown ratio and whatever that exponential number of 10 passes per interception versus 158, that's not good. I had him really high up before this game, and I think that he can finish in the top three. I like him as an NFL prospect, and I like him as a college quarterback moving forward. But for the Heisman this year, I have him at number three. So let me show you guys the film breakdown on Justin Fields. Let's go. So to start, what I want to show you guys is how Justin Fields has a great team around him. More specifically, his offensive line. So if you look at this first clip, okay, deep pass, before he throws it, every offensive lineman is 1v1 and taking care of their four-man rush. I mean, the right guard is just chilling there. He's like, who do I guard, right? And so the offensive line buys him so much time and gives him such a clean pocket to make these throws. And Justin Fields is a great thrower. I mean, he was number two overall prospect coming out of the high school behind Trevor Lawrence and they were 1A 1B people were having them different ratings but if you look at all of this you see that he can throw it deep but he has great pockets I mean he is not getting flustered even when he gets hit he's able to throw it pretty well I mean great pocket he's able to read a defense I'm going to show this play one more time because it's great to show that this guy does this little angle route maybe you call it a Texas route and, you know, he can read defenses and he can throw and he has a bunch of time. That's what I like as a quarterback is that when he has time, he's able to throw these dimes down the field. He's able to read defenses and do that. Later on, I'm going to get on how his consistency and when he gets razzled, that's when it's not good. But, I mean, just look at some of these highlights. Throwing it in between a safety and a corner on the sideline. Pump fake against Penn State. We're throwing these over-the-shoulder balls. I mean, this is just beauty at its work right here pump fake again throw these deep balls over three defenders i mean this is what we like the other thing that i like is that he's a real mobile quarterback and this is why a lot of people had him higher ranked than trevor lawrence because he can do these things when plays break down and he looks and nothing's open you know yeah he could throw it to the hitch or he could throw it to the seam but he doesn't like it he takes off and runs and he's able to get the touchdown off the edge I mean, this is what you like in your Heisman hopeful quarterback right here. Read option, takes it to the sideline, mobile as it can be, rolls right. He's able to get outside the pocket, throw on the run, and this is what I want to show right here. He has receivers that will do plays for him. I mean, look at this catch right here. Let me stop it. The ball in his body is pretty much outside the plane. He's in a C, like crescent moon position, contorting his body, and then he gets the foot down. Like how, how in a receiver, I just had to show this because look at this from the other angle, how, like your body's getting out of bounds and then you put your foot down. So he has players around him to really make things work. And the other thing is with this mobility, he can do the little Tim Tebow dip, pretend like I'm running it. Outside middle linebackers, they jump up and it's open for that outside play. Now let's get into the Indiana game and why I have him third. And I honestly think this was his Heisman demise right here. I mean, the reason he was so good was because 
his insane completion percentage, no interceptions, and touchdown ratio was, was off the charts. But we'll break down this play. He throws his first interception of the season. And so we have a dig route right here by number one. We have a seam route right here by number two. Outside, he's really not worried about them. He's trying to just take up some space, and if the safety bites, he'll run a post. We have six-man protection with the tackle um, and then the tight end right here, and the running back is going to go out for a little you know, hitch route right here as a, a bailout. What we have is a blitz by the outside. Okay, Outside guy blitzes immediately. So when you look at it, one is being bracketed by this outside guy, and this other guy is coming to bracket number one as well. So Fields needs to be looking at this guy, because if he runs with the seam route, which sometimes you do as an outside backer, you have number two, then you would throw the dig route underneath. And that's what he's looking for. He sees that this guy goes, and so he's going to throw it. But the problem is... He throws it too late, and he throws it over the middle to the safety. The real play right here is when the safety backs up, you see it's single high. You see that there is a blitz coming off. I know it happens so fast. This guy he turns, and once he crosses his face, that ball needs to be out now. He takes another hitch forward, and then he throws it, right? That's not what you need. You, when you throw over the middle, especially in cover three, that ball needs to be out fast. And so what he should have done was hitch and just throw into the check down. But instead, throws over the middle, the safety comes in and picks it off. But at the end of the day, look, that should be fine, right? Look at his career attempts before Saturday. Touchdowns, interceptions. He threw his insane amount of three, three interceptions in one game and that was his career coming into today so that's okay right you throw one interception get back out there be the Justin Fields that you are but he got a little frazzled and that's what I don't like he reminds me of Bo Callahan from NFL draft day the movie I mean this guy is getting frazzled out here rolls right nothing open scoots up in the pocket nothing's open that's okay right that's when you need to take off and run, like we've seen in his mobility. Take off and run. Don't do something stupid or throw the ball away. But then he rolls out, and he's throwing this getting tackled ball, trying to force it into a covered position. And yeah, maybe the receiver should have come up with it. It's tipped around a lot. That's unlucky. But it's the decision. And when you see your quarterback scared, two turnovers already, that's just not a good sign. And Indiana almost made a comeback in this game. I'll show it right here. Getting tackled again and throws the ball? I mean, this is, this is just terrible. That was probably the worst interception of the game. It got progressively worse throughout the game. Look, he's able to take off and run right here. Oh, almost gets tackled. So what does he do? He takes off and runs. You know, 14-7, to 7, middle of the game, gets all the way down to the goal line, Right? Once he's in the goal line area, he's going to backdoor escape, roll out for a touchdown. He's mobile. He's doing this. He just needs to be more consistent with his decision making. Right here, we're going to do a reverse bootleg, a designed run. No one's open. Okay, All these crossers aren't open. Yeah, maybe you could throw it here. But you're really wanting to get out wide and play monkey in the middle with this outside guy who's playing here. Because if he rolls with the flat route, you just take off. And that's what he did. He then comes up. But he gets frazzled because of this guy. He gets scared, and then he dumps it way too high. Fourth and one. you got to make that throw. Justin Fields is a great quarterback. I think that he's going to be a very good NFL quarterback. He's going to bring Ohio State to the playoffs, maybe to the national championship. But overall, I have him number three because I think those three touchdown games you can't have in a shortened season with COVID. But overall, I like Justin Fields. Let me know who you have as your Heisman trophy winner this year moving forward. I'm excited to see how the playoffs turn out tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next video.